I finally decided to do something about the twitchy handling on the ZH2 and I ordered off blocks a steering damper which has turned up so I basically unboxed it and in here you've got three main components you've got the actual damper itself which is adjustable uh, you've got the main mounting bracket and you've got a arm as well and there's about half a dozen bolts to go in there so I've downloaded the instructions and had a look at it and it should be fairly straightforward we're removing uh, the side panels of the tank we're removing the ignition cover we're removing the meter cover and we're moving the instrument cluster out of the way so and then once we've got the uh, ignition cover off that's going to have to be cut so there is instructions uh, on how to do that and the dimensions so it's a case of getting the dremel out for that so let's get started first side panel off uh, there was just uh, four uh, hex head uh, fittings on this and one on the side panel so took about two minutes to take off uh, I also took two of the hex heads out of the left hand side panel and the actual ignition cover just slid out so I'm not sure at the moment whether I need to carry on taking this off I'll see how it goes anyway so my next thing is to get this cut got the Dremel finished a uh, couple of minutes just marking it out uh, double checking the dimensions and then getting a small cutting wheel that was no problem uh, got the screen off now that was just uh, the four bolts holding that so the next thing is just to move the instrument cluster out of the way got the instrument cluster off uh, there was just two bolts and it just pulls out of a rubber grommet there so all we've got left to do now is the two lower handlebar mounting bolts and the two gas tank mounting bolts so let's get those done handlebar lower bolts out gas tank bolts out going to the fun stuff now starting to reassemble everything so the first thing we've got is this brass bush on the fitting and that goes into the bracket and they do supply thread lock which we're going to use and we're going to get this torqued down as per the instructions with a proper torque wrench to 156 inch pounds okay we've got that torque down now and we've got the two hex heads in there and that's just gonna get fitted now Just a little fiddly because of the washers that are already uh, in place but that looks like it's gone in okay that's the mounting bracket in and we just torque that down as well uh, 84 inch pounds so looking good so far okay next thing we've got is the the arm which goes on to the uh, lower uh, handlebar mounting so just a couple of bolts there and let's get that in place now just drops in okay let's get that torqued down okay one thing i did notice there was the torque on these is actually in foot pounds everything else was in inch uh, inch pounds uh, so I had to use a bigger torque wrench so then, anyway these two were 30 foot pounds so that's in now and we're still looking good 
Okay, we've just loosened the top hex because we're going to now slide the damper into place. Let's turn the handlebars to do that. Okay, that slid into place fairly easily, so we just need to get our bolt in there uh, with some thread lock on and get that torqued up. Okay, we got that torqued up now, and the next thing is just to adjust the gap and get this tightened down, and then I think we're putting everything back together again. So this top bolt, it does say to put thread lock on, so I'm just going to take that out and just going to get some thread lock on that put it back in and then we need to just measure the distance and then torque it down the distance measured from the end of the damper to the the bracket and that should be 61 mil and now i've got it torqued down so it's just a case now of putting everything back and giving it a test run I double checked the instructions and realised I've got two washers left. These actually go underneath the instrument cluster before it goes back on. So last, last couple of bits and they just drop in there and then the cluster goes back on. Everything back together. Okay. It's not catching anywhere. I mean, it's close to the plastic, but the steering lock stops it hitting. So I think we're good. Adjustment wise, uh, they recommend somewhere between seven and nine clicks. So in between, sorry, seven and 11, they recommend. So I've set it at nine, which is basically halfway. There's 18 clicks, so I've moved it nine clicks from one side so next thing to do is give it a test run really simple job um, probably the longest most difficult part probably was the cutting the plastic but if you don't want to cut the plastic Brox will sell you a ready cut ignition cover I think it's about $55 off the top of my head uh, but it's no big deal just uh, be careful where you're measuring and get the Dremel out uh, so that was the longest uh, part of the job, was cutting it. The uh, rest of it was just straightforward, follow the instructions, instructions were very good, and just do your torque settings and your thread locker. Excellent, thanks now.